Let's talk about that Middle Eastern mother-in-law that always has something to say. Mind you, I am not talking about the evil ones, which actually make a very small percentage. Most of our mother-in-laws are harmless. I'm talking about that Middle Eastern mother-in-law that is always ambit laptish. They're always laptishing hake because that's what they do. They say stuff indirectly or directly and they annoy you. And you women, you always want to nag to your husband. Your mother said this, your mother did this all day long. But when your mother does it, it's okay. But because it's his mother, you want to nag him all day long. You want to nag him about his mother. Listen, these women, these mother-in-laws, they're set in their ways. They don't know better. This is what they do. It's up to you to break the cycle when you become a mother-in-law. It's that simple. I want to show you guys something. right? I call it a garlic pounder. I forgot what the name is in English. I really don't care. I'm Lebanese. We use this for garlic only. So what happens if you pour water and you keep pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding? The water stays water, right? Nothing's going to happen. It's a saying in Lebanon. We say, It pretty much means this is the way they are. Get used to it. The more you nag him, the more defensive he's going to get. You know why? Because he only has one mother. He can have a hundred wives. You will never be more important than his mother. Understand that. And if you are, something is wrong with his mom or him. Leave him alone. Stop nagging him.